Well, me and Mike were just, you know, just, you, you remember each other from the old days and we were just having a laugh playing doubles together and we, you know, bashed together a wee team to play a few tournaments and then played against Cux a couple times and he was scoring nuts goals and obviously we were still pretty good friends with them from back in the day so we just stuck him on our team and we started just splooging on people. We waited like a lot until the game came out. We played the beta, we played the, also the alpha before and I expected it that he had potential. It was clear, clear to see. The game had potential like, just like the first one. But um, what stepped up the, um, the game and the community itself is Psyonix and the PS Plus um, that made it free for so many people that um, got it on PS4. And yeah, it was nice for us, very, very nice. Like, just like a dream come true. We, I didn't think Rocket League would get this big. I thought it would maybe just be like a side hobby for like a couple hundred every now and then, but it turned out to be my job. Uh, the first month of ESL, where I was playing with a bunch of Italian friends, um, but we lost against Mark, and <laughs> I just realized he was very, very, very good. Then uh, they needed a sub for the next ESL, and I asked him. He accepted, and since I carried him through the whole tournament, he asked me to stay, and I, and I did. I've known Cooks for a very long time, just bashing Sarp ranked, uh, playing team games on Sarp together. I actually was uh, going through my Battlefield 3 dog tag list. Every time you stab someone on that Battlefield 3, you got their dog tags. And I had Cooks' dog tags from like two years before I met him on Sarp. <laughs> so that was silly. I think we were, we were destined to fire about playing video games. I was pretty shocked that it was like so legit. It was, it was, it looked pr really professional. I thought it was just going to be like, you know, a couple of blokes having a good time, but it was a lot of work went into it. It was pretty insane. We were, we thought we were probably going to win, but we weren't. We weren't like, we weren't as confident as we were season two. We we played pretty good. We got to the final, but IBP just played really well, and it was. It kind of felt like a prophecy that Cronobio would, would win the first land. It's probably because uh, I respect so much the, the opponents we had. I respect Cronobio so much over Zero and Lachinio. And I think uh, I, we could have done better, but I was happy already to face them in the final. <laughs> That's mostly the final. Mike was going to leave for a while, He's, he's he had some personal things he wanted to deal with and we were, uh, um, we, knew he was, we knew he was on his way out, we, we wanted him to go and you know, get better and do whatever he wanted. Uh, he was a great player and a very good friend and I wish that we could have won our LCS season 1 for him but, you know, it just happens. It was a learning experience because I had never done this before and I had to coordinate everything and it turned out to be pretty difficult because there weren't any land centers in Scotland where we decided to run it so we just used my own house, we used the living room and it was interesting but yeah the guys had better uh, setups than they expected. They managed to improve a lot on new PCs uh, that they'd never played on before. At the start of the week they were losing every game by the end of the week they were winning everything so they laid up, left with the confidence that they could uh, win Rocket League on a brand new setup. <laughs> I was uh, desperately looking for teammates and then Greasy messaged me like, have you, uh, you found anyone yet? And I was like, no, do you want to play? And he was like, ooh, maybe. So it came about because I was semi-joking. I, like, 
I thought he was for sure going to say no, but he said yes and we went and won RLCS, so... I've always wanted to join Flipsaw because I've always been good friends with Mark and uh, Cooks. And uh, then Mike quit the team after the LAN and they, they like asked me and I was like, hmm, maybe this is a good idea. And it was. Pretty good idea. Uh, with the introduction of Dreezy, I uh, was very surprised uh, how well he gelled with the team. Uh, immediately he just got on with the guys incredibly well, so I was really happy about that. But of course, with how successful they were online, there's always the pressure that you come to the, to the LAN and you're already the favourites by far. And that really puts a lot of pressure on their shoulders. And losing, especially on day one, uh, could have been a crumble. But I, I think it actually worked in our favor because, you know, it gave them a chance to build up some momentum, beating some teams that were easier to face than Mocket Aces and Northern Gaming. Just that momentum carried through all the way to the finals. And Greasy's very much a momentum player. So I think he's a perfect addition. Very contrasting to Marky Duda in style. Very fast, where Marky's very controlled. Makes it very difficult to play against, and I think he's probably the best, almost certainly the best third that Flipside could have picked up. Feels great. We have been working for this for very long, and uh, uh, when we lost yesterday, we were like a little bit nervous. But as soon as we played the first games today, we were like, "Yep, we are gonna win." I mean, we 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 really expected to win. We annihilated the online finals. We been playing some of the best uh, games we played in our entire lives, and we were just super confident. It actually felt. I think this feels better than if we won all games because like. We went down and we got to play much more games than the other people. And like we knew like if we lose we're out. And that made us much more pumped and yeah. And that's funny because that flip side way to win tournaments, it's always losing the first match, then go all the way through to the <laughs> loser bracket and win the final. So it was very common that doing that on land was another thing. <laughs> I was just so happy for them. I mean I was sitting uh with uh, the substitute player Jazer who's just off camera right now and we were just, we so badly wanted them to win and uh, not, honestly not for ourselves, we just think that they deserve it so much they're the best team, uh, they're the best team in Rocket League history, they're the best team of the past year and probably the best team that uh, will be around for a while so they absolutely deserved it and I was so happy that I could just be a small part of this and uh, to be along with them for this journey and see all the emotion and all of the experiences firsthand, it's just incredible. It's truly, uh, there are no words to describe just how happy I am for those guys.